Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. I'd like to thank you guys so very much for your support to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. I'd like to ask also that you guys subscribe to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video. Of course, don't forget to leave a comment below. And of course, guys, let me just thank all those of you who have subscribed. We have over 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and your support once again to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna watch a video entitled The Great King Episode 8 Royal Remains in Royal Urns. Okay, we're gonna check out this one. I guess this is after the cremation process of the Great King. And this is what he building. He's building it. What's in the book? I know a lot of work and effort went into this entire ceremony. The Great King. The King of Tyre. Great King he was indeed. The tradition of encasing oh, they're speaking English. Okay. a ceremonial royal urn is believed to have originated from prehistoric secondary burial rituals in the Southeast Asian region. Wow. The ritual involves bringing the bones from a person's remains and storing them in various containers. Wow. Oh, the bones. Later, this ancient ritual was integrated with the Indian tradition of cremation of the remains of high-ranking members of society. The remains wow. were encased in urns and cremated in designated areas, resulting in a tradition that has been passed on from generation to generation. ในภูมิภาคเอเชียตะวันออกกลางในอัมเมริกาตะวันตกในภาชนะนะครับอย่างเช่นอาจจะนึกถึงทุ่งไห่หินที่ลาวซึ่งอยากได้ Wrapped in a white cloth and sacred thread before being wow. placed in a coffin in a sleeping position. However, the funeral ceremony for high ranking members of society, including royalty, involves royal funeral rites in which the body is placed upright in the sitting position in a royal urn. <laughs> The body itself. Wow, wait, wait a moment. So the king was in there? Seems like I misunderstood all along. Historical documents from various I thought it's the ash. I thought it was the ash of the room. In preparing royalty for the royal funeral rites, preparations begin with using a headdress to prop the royal person's head and chin in an appropriate position before wow. the body is placed in a sitting position. Next. Sacred thread is wrapped around the body before a white cloth is placed beneath the body in a hexagonal shape. Wow. The edges of the cloth are pulled up to cover the head and left in place to be tied with religious thread from the head to the neck. The final step is conveying the body into the royal urn and propping up the body with pillows all around. Oh my gosh. The reign wow. of His Majesty the late King Pumipun Adunade is the first period in which the royal funeral rites will alter slightly, with the late King Pumipun granting royal permission for Her Royal Highness Princess Sina Karin and Her Royal Highness Princess Kalyani Patana to be buried in royal coffins rather than in royal urns for their royal funeral ceremonies. So the body stays in there and it breaks down and decompose in the urn. Similarly, the royal funeral ceremony of His Majesty the late King Pumipun Adunyade will include a royal coffin placed on a pedestal. However, there will still be a royal urn 
placed on top of the coffin to carry on traditions from ancient times. Oh, so he was not in in the urn. I'm a bit confused. Be and believe in ourselves. I I'm a bit confused about something there. Um. So he was placed in a coffin on the urn because they said there that why is my phone ringing? Sorry guys. Um, it was said there that he was placed in a coffin and then the urn was placed above the coffin. So I'm not quite sure if I'm not quite sure. Of course, you guys, this is the opportunity to explain to me exactly because that how he was buried. Because at first I thought it was his ashes. They call it the cremation process. Um, ceremony. So I thought that his body was cremated and the ashes were stored in the urn. Seems like I misunderstood. Of course, please someone clarify it to me in the comments below. Thank you so very much for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget, of course, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Every man to himself, your life is yours and no one else's At the end you've either done it right or you've wasted your life You do. Don't be tripping of them, could they be jealous of you? They be wishing they could walk in your shoes. Cinema. It's what the world is made of. They can't reach your level, so they try to bring you down to where they are. But you are strong, so you hold on to the top where you know that you belong. What you want, you gotta do with yourself. Every man to himself, your life is yours and no one else's. At the end, you've either done it right or you wasted your life.